The Sims 4 has some interesting features in it and some of them are just so interesting I thought I'd compile a list. Now two of these are actually mods. I'll go over those when I get to that those two to those two mods. But any, but at any rate, these are five features in the Sims 4 that are downright nifty. We begin with a double barreled number five, and that is body hair and nail polish. I'll start with nail polish. And that is, and that you can do it on either sim because on either gender, it really doesn't make a difference. But obviously, you'd think better of it on, on a female. So I'm going to put one on my female sim here. I'm going to put nail polish right here, and you and you click on this right here, and then you go up here. And then you can, and all these swatches, you can choose whichever ones you want. And there you see on the Sims toes, you see the, the nail polish appear right there. This used to be mo a mod. It, actually, it still is a mod that I actually added before, I, before this even came out. But when you do it this way, it doesn't count as custom content. because it came with the game and now let me show you the fingernail polish before I move over to my other, other sims this is really interesting you can go either one color or multicolor I'm gonna keep it simple and go one cup and go one color let's look at the choices here Here's your most bro your broadest choice here. All these swatches are available right here. I'm gonna pick the most obvious one, and that one right there. Actually, that actually that is, isn't really one color, but still, that you can see that that there. Let me see if I can find a one color, a unicolor. There's one right there. So that, that, or you can go like this, and you see they, they're right there. And, the, and now let me move over to, let me turn this sim around, make it a, turn it into a male. This now I'm going to show you the the body hair. That's up here. I can do arm hair. And if you have this box checked here, that's the ma match the regular the the hair on the head. If you uncheck this box, then it, then you can do different hairs, but I like to keep it all the same, so I'm going to keep that box checked. And it would, could go on the arms in different, and these are all different, uh, great different levels of hair like so, that's so. a little bit hairier that that's not quite as hairy there's the hairiest and you get the idea there now let me turn this back around mm. 
and I'm gonna go leg hair. Hmm. That's the looks like it's that's the hairiest. There's a little bit that's mediocre, and that's almost nothing at all. But that's theirs right there. So there are your bot. There are your body hair and nail polish mods still to come. Four more that I. Four more features in this game. Two of them are mods that I think are that I think are really good. This one just tipped the iceberg for for best, but the other ones are far away the best. I was ecstatic on some that I'll reveal later in in this webcast. But, but uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> to find out which one that oh, oh. to find out which, uh, what those are. Now the first of our two features that are actually mods. This one is UI Cheats. UI stands for User Interface. And when you use this mod, the first of two that I'm going to go over, you have a lot of flexibility. You can change a lot. Let me unpause this game and I will show show you what this can do you see what I'm doing is I'm actually clicking in these bars here and it's showing the It, it's actually filling up these bars. These are actually needs bars that you can actually that actually show the the needs of, of the sins. That's one of quite a few things you can do. Another thing you can even change the top the date, I believe, or, or the day. No, it's the hour, but yeah, you can t change the time by doing by clicking on that right clicking simply by right clicking on that on that button like I just did. Another thing, you can either left click on this to add a thousand or right click on it to add the amount of your choice. Add, subtract however much money you want. And if you're playing it, see it says set it or add it. That means if you want to set it, you, that gives it. That means you're setting it to that exact amount that you put in. If you're adding it, you're adding the amount that is that you put in there. It's self-explanatory there. And although I'm not playing that branch, that so-called branch of the game, that that extent expansion pack at the moment. If you, if I would be enrolled in the the university, I can, and my sim is struggling, and this is what I've done a lot. I could actually go into the, go into this panel here. Again, it won't show there because I'm not enrolled in university, but this would have my grade. If I'm struggling. Like let's say your sim misses class because their their needs are poor. What you could do is you could click on that button and click on the the number and you can set it to a high enough number to what you what you want. Because if you're 
if you fail out, then you can you cannot enroll. If you are expelled, you can you cannot enroll for five days. If you're suspended, you can't enroll for five days. So that, so that's a big issue. That's a big thing you can do there. But you have to be enrolled in a university for that to happen, for for that to be available to you. But still, that you can do. You can add money. You can check, you can change the time. All that is available with UI Cheats interface. It's available in your mods. And it is a script mod. Now, there is a caveat to this. It does break easily. When there's an update available, this one will, will actually need an update i think about a month ago there was an update on this game that we didn't that i don't think that i didn't even see and i couldn't play this game for about a week until i realized that i needed to update this very mod so keep that mod updated and you'll be glad you did U I, that's the letter U, the letter I, cheats interface, stands for user interface. U I cheats, and then there's a number behind it that increases with every edition that is put out. Usually, when usually when there's a a pack that's that's new, it has to be installed. When when Horse Ranch came out. Recently, that this game had to be updated for that patch, and so did the one that is ahead of this one. You'll see that one that's just as big, even bigger, coming up next at number three. And now, number three on our list of incredible of the. Uh, must have mods or incredible mods in The Sims 4, and that is MC Command Center. This is the second of two that are actually mods, and when you add those into your mods folder, and by the way, I did, both Jessica Lindstedt and I did videos on how to use MC Command Center. Jessica did it one in, in uh, 2017. I did one five years later. And if you want to click on mine, click the card in the upper right hand corner. That and but if you want to do that. But uh, when you get there, when you get to that to the mod to the mods you can actually you can disable this screen after you have the mod, if you have mod, mods enabled then you then when you open the game you'll get this screen and you can choose to show that this at start if you want or you can disable it by clicking this green button by clicking this green button or, and I'm checking it I don't like to do that because I want to see what I have installed. And see, these are all the mods I have installed. The first ones are the ones that are non-script. Those are the ones that are that you just click and drag in once. And below that are the ones that are script mods. In fact, MC Command Center is in that one, is in that list. That's because that because MC Command Center has a non-script and a script mod. So you have to put in two in two mods.
it's a big file and it also has MC Command Center and MC Woohoo. There's a total of 16 mods that you have to, that you, well you don't have to unzip, you can choose what you want, but you have the option of doing MC Cast, MC Cheats, MC Cleaner, MC Clubs, M MC Command Center, that, that's the base mod, MC Dresser, I'm not sure what MC Jedcom is, but that, but that's something else there, MC Occult. And MC Pregnancy, and then MC Tuner, and then the one that stands by itself, MC Woohoo. Once again, to find out how that, to find out how to uh, mo how to use these, click that card in the upper right hand that I put in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Anyway, but I, but I hope I hope you stay tuned for now. Why is this so low? Because there are two mods that are not excuse me two features that are not mods that are that I think are even better than this. And to find out what they are, stay tuned for that for that. You'll want to stick around for that. Those were the two mods on this list. Now the up, but there are two other features that I was ecstatic when they came out. This first one is number two on the list of five, of our five features, and it is custom pronouns. This one came out on. May 24th of 2022 and it works like this when you were when you're in create a sim all you do is click on the name like I just did here and and right next to where the name goes it says change pronoun and you bring down the this tab here and you can say they that them she her he him or add your own and the best thing about this is there are sentences that give you examples of what that what your word would look like that you're gonna that you would type in here when you do that that's number two on our list number one I, when number one came out I was really ecstatic that's next We've reached the end of our countdown. Our number one feature of The Sims 4 that is that was it, it's so incredible: custom skin tones, and there are a lot of them. They at what the team did in December of 2020, December. In, in fact, they, it came out a day early. It was supposed to come out December 8th of, 12, uh, of, excuse me, of 2020. Instead, it came out December 7th. And I was waiting for a long time for this one. When you click on the skin tone, when you're in Create a Sim, norm, before this came out, just a couple of lines of, of skin tones would pop up. Not it wasn't that much variety. Now you get this. There's a hundred forty-four of them. You heard right, a hundred forty-four. And you can even add more if you want. I had a couple in there for 
a while, but I but I like to stay with the I like to stay with what the what's given. But here's what what else you can do. You can click on one and you can like slide it in and out or slide it back and forth. And you see how the the tone's going lighter and darker. And you can add it and that's will and it'll come down down here on its own. And if you don't like it, you can you can click on this trash can and remove it. So that is number, that is our top five features of The Sims 4 that are just, they're just so incredible. Thanks for watching this. Have a really good day.